now i decree and declare over your life as a church and as individuals in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everything that represents shame and represents reproach in your life it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now i decree and declare that everything that looks like delay delay it looks like you've been stagnated in one position not going forward i prophesy to you according to exodus 14 12 to 14 in the name of jesus go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of jesus let me declare psalm 112 over your life the bible says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon the earth i pray for your children in the name of jesus they will not be small in the name of jesus they will not be mediocre and then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever in the name that is above all names every door that has been closed towards your life please hear me i declare over you this week this week not next week i prophesy that those doors are open now And the axe head fell and they said alas master it was borrowed and he said where fell it let me pray for someone who is owing in debt or any kind of financial trouble by the power of the prophetic i decree and declare may god use men to bring you out of that tragic situation in the name of jesus christ the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon god uses men to lift men i don't know which human vessel has been programmed by god to partner with the spirit for your rising but in the name of jesus wherever they are i command them to show up in your life i command them to show up in your destiny in the name of jesus christ And David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called on a man called Ziba, sent him to Lodeba to go and fetch a crippled man called Mephibosheth. And they brought Mephibosheth and he would remain in the king's palace forever. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, the David that will send for you and honor you even at a global scale, I command them to show up now. I command them to show up now in the name of Jesus the Bible says now Jericho was shot nothing could come in and nothing could go out there are limitations like that they stand before you nothing goes in nothing goes out they just represent an inconvenience but the Bible says at the shout the seventh shout on the seventh day that the wall of Jericho fell flat and it sank in. I speak to every wall that stands before you. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I command it to sink and give you way. To sink and give you the right way of passage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a very interesting man in the Bible. I just spoke about him called Mephibosheth if you study Mephibosheth the problem he entered was not his making it was the mistake of a midwife midwives are those who help to transit seasons in your life as he was coming out of his mother's womb a nurse was careless and because of the carelessness of that nurse the man became crippled forever the midwives that help us through destiny can leave us as mighty men or can leave us as Mephibosheths are we together now I want to speak because it matters there are men who help you to cross that river to the next level and if they are careless and insensitive they may cripple dimensions of your life 
and incapacitate you. Even though Mephibosheth was favored, he never walked. I decree and declare, everyone sent by God as a midwife, as a destiny helper, may they play their role effectively. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me declare restoration. There are two things the Bible promises to restore. Number one is time. Number two, things. These are very important elements of destiny. When you lose time, you have lost everything. When you lose things, you need time to have them back. And God said he's powerful to restore both. Both the years that the canker worm has stolen and the things you have lost. I speak to someone. I don't know what you have lost. So some of you, maybe you got saved late maybe you got lazy towards spiritual things but i declare supernatural restoration now i speak prosperity to your life in the name of jesus by divine favor may your hands be full enjoy the ministry of destiny helpers